Whoa, look at me go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cece, and welcome back to the Backyard server. I am here currently flying over Spawn, where I was recently working on this sort of ridge stick. This is something I did on stream, and it looks absolutely... Oh my... Cool. Uh, I don't know what I was... Uh, what was I saying? Now this big stick here is going to be a bridge, but right now it looks super ugly. And yeah, I want to get working on the bridge, but to do that, I'm going to need a large supply of mud bricks. Like, a large supply. And I know there's some shops that spawn that sell mud bricks, but I doubt they would be enough. Yeah, I don't really think that's going to do me. So I think what I need to do is just set up my own personal mud area. And I, I think I have the perfect place for it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, a light trip, please. To my base! To my base! Ah. Wait for mud? Hello. You, uh. Hello. You, you're spying <laughs> on my video. Peaky. If you're gonna be creeping on me, you can help. Do you know roughly what you want it to look like? Uh, on the test world, I've made a little silhouette of the building, so it's going to be basically uh, like a mud room on the side, and then maybe like a like a taller bit on this bit here. I'd have a different material, probably like deep slate mm -hmm. or something. Uh, Are water wheels used for the same thing that uh, windmills are for? Yeah, milling and stuff. A water wheel would be good. Maybe have because there's a lush cave up here. We could have like a waterfall coming down from a lush cave. If we have like a little creek coming down here. If you pull it maybe back again just a bit, you could also connect it up to this wall so it's got the support on both sides. Oh, that's be cool. Yeah. I think what I might do is also have this building uh, serve two purposes to also like store my like dirts and soils and stuff. Since there isn't too many of yeah. those in the game, so have like mud yeah. production but then also storing of other stuff. God, these trees are so annoying. There's always like, a log hidden inside them. Uh, I find, well, I finally put a hat on this one. Um, well, let me just... <laughs> oh, you got the goggles still, of yeah. course. Goggle, goggles on a pirate hat is actually kind of sick. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh, now, oh. it's kind of goof. <laughs> what? Okay, that was a Steve then. <laughs> oh, I love it. But the, the, the eyes are a bit goofy. They're very <laughs> wide and <laughs> far apart. Yeah, no, because technically my eyes aren't even in the goggles. No, that you look a bit frog-like. It's also like, it's using your signature colour scheme, so it's not remotely hiding your identity. Yeah, I know, that's, that's <laughs> the best thing as well. It's like, oh, I'm wearing all this, so you can't tell who it is, but you can, you can clearly tell who it is. <laughs> it's like, yeah, everyone's just playing along with it. It's like, oh, who's this mystery yeah. man? Let me just quickly go on Pinterest, look at my wheel inspo board. <laughs> just wheels. No, because if I say what I have been doing, like, quite a bit of, I'll be saying, oh, I specialise in wheels? Yeah. And paths. And people just like, oh, you do transport? No. No, they're <laughs> unrelated. Yeah. I just went on to my Pinterest, first thing I see is a budgie wearing a bell as a hat. That was brilliant. Let's build that. Who needs the who needs the wheel? <laughs> okay, we've got a bit of a game plan going. So I'm gonna get on with the uh, the the wheat farm over here, probably the mud farm over here, and then maybe the packer around here or over here. I don't know. Maybe this bit over here is too big. I haven't really thought too far ahead with it. Hey. Oh, that worked perfectly. Woo! Okay, nope. Uh, efficiency 3 is far too fast. The way that I uh, had held down both the buttons at once was I had a, uh, a piggy bank that looks like a Stormtrooper helmet on one of the mouse buttons. <laughs> and then a coffee mug that looks like a Duff beer can on the other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've made some really good progress here. Doesn't look it, but over here, Crispy has built up a water wheel, which looks really cool. And we've got this sort of like water trough thing that's bringing water over from the like hill over here. 
And then on the inside, whilst he was doing that, I've been doing some of the redstone. We've got the mud machine over here, and we've got the wheat pod. So if I just quickly grab this diamond shovel, and then just uh, go here, all you do is just hold down left and right click, and it makes all the mud I want. It doesn't look like it's making mud, but it is. Like down here, it gets collected up into here, and there you go, all the mud you need. And then this one should just be a case of just flip the lever up, and it makes an absolute racket, but then it will make loads of wheat. Like, that's like 14 in a second. Look at that. God, that's loud. Uh, I'll need to figure out something to do with the seeds. I think what I'm going to do is make like a little uh, like chest over here that will then just like take all the seeds down to a composter below and then send the bone meal back up to refill the system. It won't be enough to be self-sufficient, so I've got a box over here with some bone blocks in it. But now, I want to do a bit more of the exterior, because I need to get an idea for what the interior is going to be a bit like. And it's kind of going to be a shape of... What I'm thinking is we'll do sort of a roundish roof over here that kind of perfectly surrounds the, the water wheel. I've actually done a little bit of a secret wall here. Like, because uh, it's a building, it's the uh, what wheel slightly off center, because it's uh, connecting up to that building over there too. So what I've done is I've made it so there's like a secret wall over here, and like a little inset in between. So maybe I can put something in there, like a little Easter egg. But then I'll have like a round roof that goes around the water wheel. And then over here, I think I'll just do a straight building, kind of like this one over here. That's the that's the plan at least. So we'll see where that goes. So I guess I'll be back once I know a bit more. Oh, I also want to have a packer system for all the like grass blocks and stuff. I think I'll put that over on this wall here. But I don't really know what it's going to look like yet, so it's going to leave it until then. And we'll get into doing some, 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 some creative stuff, so be right back. So I lost the recording of me building this, but this is basically what the building is looking like now. Got in the roof, got in the taller bit, and I've it. Ooh, uh, wagon. Uh, I have done a bit of a different roof up here. I've used the crimson planks as like a sort of like kind of. I don't know where this falls on the purple scale, but I think it works well for the palette. It's a bit samey in texture though, is the issue. Like the planks are kind of just all. It makes your eyes go a little bit numb. So I might try and add in a smidge of like stem or something. I don't know what else is like a similar color to this. But aside from that, I've also got this bit here, which is kind of like a castle wall. And the idea with that is that I kind of want to expand this area around and make it a bit more enclosed. Crispy making this uh, water wheel has really inspired me to make my base a bit more connected to each other. Like, right now the buildings are kind of just freestanding with stuff in between them, but I want some of them to be more, like, literally touching and stuff, without being, like, side by side. If we have it sort of, like, as a wall, kind of connecting up two different buildings, and then either this side or this side can be sort of, like, an enclosed town. I don't know exactly. But I did it out of Deep Slate initially, but I think I want to switch out to Blackstone to sort of make it more distinct that it's like a different thing. Like I think it kind of blended too much with Deep Slate, but the Blackstone is definitely making it a bit more stark of a difference, which yeah, that's definitely an improvement. So let me quickly do this. So now for the interior, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing, but I've added in this little bit of a raised section here, and I think I might have it so the storage floor is maybe around here. Yeah, it's probably going to be good. I've also put a uh, unbreaking mending shovel here, so I can get that. Uh, I can actually mine without having to go through like a hundred shovels. Though I might even try and set up like a system that like resupplies me with like experience, like maybe put some experience bottles or something in like a dispenser that fires off every so often, just so the shovel never actually breaks. I don't know how I'd go about doing that, but it does some fun. But I want to focus on the packing system for now. I just had an idea right this second, where maybe what I could do is have like a two-sided storage. So like, imagine there's like a big storage rack with all the chests facing, actually I can just grab the chest and have a look. I'd have it so they're accessible from in here if I want to just quickly grab some like, uh, like grass or dirt or gravel. But down here I could do more of the 
like packing and stuff, maybe underneath have a little sort of shulker system. I've made a little pile over here so I can kind of visually see how many shulkers I've got left and yeah, it's it feels so much smaller than when it's in an inventory. Okay, I think I want to set this up with an auto dispenser system. So there'd be like a chest full of shulkers and whenever you break one, it would send out a new one. I think that could kind of work. Okay, let's do a test here. Quack. There we go. Perfect. I don't really mind if redstone's visible, but I think it could look better if the note block was on the bottom. Target block, target block, block, redstone. So now, if I have a note block here, it should power it. So let's do that. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Maybe do some mangrove. Oh. God, what are they doing? Oh, God. Oh, my more. I'm guessing that's Pears. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what Pears is doing, but it kind of scares me a little. This is really cool looking. I like this. Sort of got like a bit of a workstation. Got an anvil for renaming. Oh, uh, I just noticed. <laughs> Got an anvil for renaming shulker boxes, got the, the shulker box replacer, got the barrel for putting them in, and then also a barrel here, which I'm going to fill up with dyes, so I can like re-dye the shulker box if that is something, like say, I had grass, I'd make it green, if I had sand, make it yellow, stuff like that. So, uh, that should be that, I need to now categorise all the chests, but I'll do that kind of as I sort of see fit. Uh, I think the only thing left now is to do the composting system for the Hoyt. So how about we do a bit of a... And here we go. Uh, not much has changed, but it is now a bit more usable. I'll be honest, I'm really struggling with interiors to like figure out new ways of adding in like furniture and stuff. Like I've kind of just shoved chains everywhere. But like I feel like all I ever do now is just put chests and barrels and... I've now added decorated pots to that collection. Ooh. Uh, I keep forgetting that. I'm really liking decorated pots, actually. I've got some more clay cooking over at the uh, the farm. Actually, no, I don't. I forgot to do that. I just left it there. <laughs> I just left a bunch of clay here. <laughs> here. And then... Okay, now it's cooking. And with that, I think it's pretty much now finished down here. But upstairs... Oh, God. Yeah, these stairs are kind of weird. I've gone those like these, again, like, trap door stairs. It's a bit odd, but... It's a bit more compact than if you did, like, actual stairs here. Like, you'd be banging your head on the bottom of them. But I've also got a little path going out to here. And this will lead over to a building on this side. But I'm really liking how this area is turning out. I think there's, like, a few more things I want to do on the outside, mainly focused on the water wheel. I want to start integrating this into the landscape a little bit more. So what I'm thinking is just going to waterlog this. Doesn't matter if it's not flowing. Uh, how do I... There we go. Oh. Right, okay. Um... Oh! Oh my. God, why does it keep happening? Okay, there we go. For some reason, placing down water in this stair block makes the water not flow. That's very strange, but hey, if it works, it works. Okay, there we go. It's all in now. Oh, it's flowing off the back here. I don't really want it to flow off the back. Okay, then I think what I might do here is do a little bit of, like, water uh, moulding, where, like, you kind of place down things in the water, and it, like, changes how it like, flows. That might be a bit too much, so let's bring it down on the sides, like that. Uh, I'm also going to put in a bit of a fake just facade area for now, just to kind of dictate where the next building is. What's this? Profits for you. Ooh, money. Yeah, me and Billy have got some business going on, but I'll get into that another time. Look at nine diamonds. That's double, that's, that's double my diamonds. Now, I haven't decided what the path's going to be. Because over here, I've been using mud bricks and tough bricks. But since the buildings are made of bricks, I, I think we're starting to get a bit bricked out. So I want to see if I can experiment with some other materials. But I think those materials are over at spawn. 
Actually, with those new diamonds that Billy just gave me, I think we might go do a bit of a shopping spree. And we shall grab Nemo the second. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever actually met Nemo the first. Uh, he didn't last very long, unfortunately. Went to lava. Uh, I'm not very good at keeping horses alive. Okay, let's take a little look-see around uh, some of these shops. We've got the crystals. I don't really need crystals. Honey. Let's get a bit of honey. I don't really have any honey. Let's get two stacks of honey. I'm going to go to a honeycomb, actually, for waxing and stuff. Okay, this here is the shop that I was particularly interested in. This is the coral shop. No! No! Here we go, coral. Shopping's going well. I wonder if I've made any money. Ooh, I have. Yay, more shopping! Woo! I don't have a problem. And if I do have a problem, it's that there's not enough stores around here. I want to spend more money. We have three of the three of the corals. We don't have the cobbly looking one, which is a shame. But let's just try placing in just one of them for now. I don't hate it, but it's a little bit light. I was kind of hoping for something a smidge darker, but I think we can probably work with it. But I want to go on a quick little hunt. Okay, I believe that there is a coral reef over by the industrial district so i'm gonna go ahead over there and see if i can get some of the other corals oh 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 it's probably the bad idea to be doing this while bh is doing some admin stuff oh god uh, i believe that just over here is a coral reef there it is really no i'm so close let me let me over i want to get there no <laughs> and we're here okay yeah, I'm looking for this brain coral. Whoa, what the? Um, it's not exactly an exhaustive supply, but it should do at least for experimental purposes. Okay, let's start thinking about the brig. Okay, how about this? It's a bit dumpy, but I kind of like it. Uh, I need to figure out some stuff to kind of shove in these corners. The easy answer is like barrels and stuff, but I want to see if I can go for something a bit more interesting. I always do something like this, where there's maybe a cauldron on the bottom. It kind of looks like a little pulley system for pulling... Um, I don't know what's pulling up, but it's, it's doing something. <laughs> I think I'm going to do myself a little uh, CC building montage, so I can just sort of like shove a bunch of ideas down, see which ones stick, which ones don't. Just get as much ideas out and see which one they like. Look how amazing this is. Oh, I love it so much. It's got like a tree that's kind of wrapping around the edge of the building. I might even make that a bit bigger once the, the uh, tower is a bit more substantial. But I've got in the coral floor. I've added in some mud bits along the edge where there was coarse dirt before. And with uh, tea blossoms on, or like the sakura leaf sort of pe petals that like falling from the tree. And oh, it is looking amazing. And I did a bit of like greebling and stuff along the edges of this building here. Got like this uh, flower hanger thing with some buttons on the wall and even got a carpet inside. Nothing massive, but I think it is looking so good. Oh, also got this lamp here. Uh, I'm not 100% sold on the lamp. I, I don't know if it really fits the aesthetic. I'm going to stick with it for now because I want to have some lighting around here. And also it is a lighting that will turn on at night time. Right now it's set to invert, so at night time it would turn on, but uh, during the day it's fine. Oh, oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> Apparently it turns on when it's raining as well. Did not know that. So here are the three buildings I've got so far, which will be in the town, with the water flowing down. I think I want to have some buildings up here, maybe just decorative buildings to have like around the uh, water a bit. 
But the main bit I want to focus on is probably going to be around this area here, having it kind of nestled into the edge of this cliff, and then having a pathway that goes up to here. Now here is something I'm not going to get into too much today, but this is where my station is going to go. I wasn't sure about having it here initially, because it's a bit out of the way, but I want to make sure I have plenty of room for redstone, and also I think BH will be sharing the station with me, so we're going to have two platforms for both of us, and then I'll have a path that runs down this way and connects up to my new sort of like dense village around here on village. It's kind of bigger than a village. I don't know what it is, but it's dense. I like it. It's cool. Yeah. With the, the mud farm, at the start of the episode, I mentioned that the mud farm is originally made to work uh, for the bridge. So I want to start making up some of the packed mud. So let's, craft up, let's craft up a bunch of the packed mud and we can head over to spawn quickly. Ow! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, he killed him! Oh no! So this will be something that I worked on on stream, but Sprinkles has already actually started work on it a bit. And we're going to kind of repeat this design over and over and over, and we'll turn this into a full, like, nice bridge thing. Great, I'm looking forward to it. So much work condensed into such little time, but look how amazing this is. Oh, it's so cool looking. It's not completely done, like I'm still missing some walls on the insides and stuff, but I've kind of just ran out of materials entirely. Ow! But it is getting there, it is so cool. And with this, we can finally start connecting up the server, as this was the sort of the big thing stopping any progress. I still need to power all the lines, power all the rail lines, but once we do, I can start connecting it up to over here to the north, and then from here we can start spreading out into every area we want, and hopefully we won't have to make any bridges that are well over a hundred blocks long. We'll add some details and stuff to this along along the way, like adding some leaves along the side, maybe some roots, some trees, stuff like that. But I think that is where I want to. Oh, uh, I think that's where I want to leave it for today. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, a lot of stuff happened today, but I think it was a good one. So I'll see you in the next one, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!